Hey everybody, this is Sarah. Welcome back. In this video, we'll be making our own Build-A-Bear with this Build-A-Bear Workshop Kit. I found the Build-A-Bear Workshop Stuffing Station at my local Toys R Us and they were selling it for $29.99. This kit comes with two bears to stuff, but if you would like to stuff some more, they also sell some additional animals like these. Aren't these cute? All right, let's open this up. I'm super excited. Believe it or not, I have been to the actual Build-A-Bear store, but I haven't built my own bear. So this is pretty excited to see how this set will work at home. All right, well, this is probably one of the coolest pieces of the kit. This is your own Build-A-Bear stuffing station. Isn't this really cute? The cute little teddy bear on top is a lid that you're going to twist off and inside comes one of the bags of the stuffing. Let me put the lid back on and I'll show you the rest of the stuffing station. Once the station is ready to go, you're just going to crank the handle here and supposedly the stuffing goes right into the teddy bear. Then if we go all the way down, there's a little compartment here at the bottom. I'll just flip open the door and you can put any of your Build-A-Bear accessories inside. So I told you guys earlier that this set comes with two Build-A-Bears that you stuff. You get a brown one and these are really, really soft. They're really nicely made and I can't wait to stuff them. They're really cute. And here's a pink one. Oh my gosh. These are about the size of a Beanie Baby, if you guys remember those. These are no so, so when you stuff the bears, all you have to do is pull down the zipper and the stuffing will stay inside of the bear. The kit also gives you two of these bags of stuffing, one for each of your bears. They give you two t-shirts, one for each of your bears. Here's a really cute pink one. It has a nice little star and heart design on the front. And then the other one, I saw this and I just about melted. This is a little kitty with glasses shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that cute? And the sleeves of this shirt are just so cute too. They also give you these two plastic heart shaped lockets. You just open up them here on the side. If I can figure it out, I think it's like this. There we go. You're gonna put a wish inside of the locket and then put the locket inside of your bear. You also get two of these Build-A-Bear workshop certificates, one for each of your bears. Some various punch out paper accessories for your bears. And lastly, some instructions on how to use this Build-A-Bear Workshop stuffing station. Are you guys ready to build a bear? I sure am. The first step is to unscrew the bear lid. We're gonna put in some of this stuffing, an entire bag full. Oh my gosh, this stuffing is so soft. This is some nice, high quality stuff. No pun intended. I'll carefully put all the stuffing inside of our machine. Put the lid back on. Now let's stuff the brown bear first. Now I'm gonna try to open up this little bear in the back and then put the little nozzle inside of the bear's back. This sounds kind of weird. Um, this isn't going on very easily. Let me try doing it this way. Sorry you guys can't see. Okay, finally I got the bear on. Now to get the stuffing inside of the bear, we'll just turn the handle clockwise.
Oh, it's working. Oh my gosh, look at that. Do you guys see the stuffing going into the bear? It's totally working. As it pushes the stuffing into the bear, I can feel the tummies of the bear getting full. Whoa. Okay, now the instructions say I have to push the stuffing into his arms and legs first. Now I just need to give him some more stuffing, so I'll put the bear back on the nozzle. Hmm, my machine's not putting out any more of the stuffing. I might have to open up the lid and push some of it down. There. This should work now. Oops! <laughs> oh man, I just lost my bear. All right, let's try this again. Hmm, it looks like the stuffing is having trouble going into the bear. I may have to push it down again. All right, there we go, that's working. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, I guess we gotta push some more now into his arms. And to his head. Since I don't have very much of the stuffing left, I'm just going to fill him up manually. You're gonna wanna use up the entire bag to fill your bear. Stuffing done, we'll set him aside for just a moment. I'm gonna grab one of these little heart-shaped cutouts. On the back, you're supposed to write down a wish. So let me see, let me think of a wish. Hmm, okay, I wish I wonder if this is supposed to be like a birthday wish so you don't tell anybody. All right, I'm gonna write my wish down and I'm not gonna let you guys know what it is. I'll be right back. Now that I have my wish, I'm going to just fold the pieces in half. Grab the plastic locket and slip the cardboard piece inside. Make sure the locket is locked. All right, now this is gonna go inside of your Build-A-Bear, just like this. Now we'll just zip them up so that none of the stuffing or the locket comes out. Aw, look at this little guy. He's really cute. I love how soft these are. Aw, I love him. I'm definitely cutting off that tag in the back though. And just in case you guys were curious, I also stuffed the pink bear. Aw, I love these. You could either keep both or you could give one to a friend. Let's see what the bear looks like with the kitty cat shirt. Oh, look at this. Okay, now that is super cute. And here's the other shirt. I love these. You know, the bears are so much cuter with their clothing, don't you think? Well, you guys, I thought this set was completely adorable. The only trouble I had was putting the bears on the nozzle. Um, you, if you do have trouble with that, you could always manually stuff each one, but it did take me a couple of tries to get them hooked on to the little machine. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I super appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.